All right, so the the new hotfix just came out today, and a lot of things have changed, and they made farming a lot better as well. But yeah, let me just explain all the important stuff. Um, first of all, some quality of change is, as you can see, the uh, void fragments now show which element you need or which descendant you need. Basically, this is poison or toxic. That's why it's green. If you go to another one like fortress you can see blue means electric so that can be a little helpful another thing is void reactors like this one now show uh, the linked amorphous material or whatever it's called so now you know where to like turn it in if you're looking for it which is also another good thing and then again um, if you're looking for the uh, materials like the crystallization catalyst the drop chances on all of these have increased so all the uh, materials you get uh, 1.5 times more now from the enemies um, and what I mean by that is let me show you an example right here so if I clear this outpost I'm gonna get way more bio gel than I used to I think I used to get around like 10, 13 ish, and now I'm gonna get like around 20. It depends on the job, of course. But yeah, if I pick up the uh, rewards, 14. I mean, I I've gone 20 before, but yeah, it's random, of course. Uh, before the patch, I've gone like 6, 7 as well. Now I don't see 6, 7. Uh, Never, right? Another thing uh, for the void fragments themselves, so the elemental ones um, have increased the void shard uh, drops. So basically, as you can see, the inorganic void shard is now 20. If you clear this, this used to be 13, and uh, all the other ones have changed as well. Of course, as you can see, this one 17 6 changed as well. Uh, another important one that a lot of people farmed is this one. This one now gives you 17 and 6, which is good. I think it gave you free inorganic before. So this is a really good farm for inorganic ones, if you don't mind. But sadly, they did uh, the non-attribute ones, they didn't do them justice. They are still the same. So you get free of each. And if you ask me, this is not worth it. Um, that's that those are the m important things some of the modules have been edited also um, I'll show you right here right now real quick also don't pay attention to the quality of the game because I turned everything down otherwise my game crashes every second um, one sec so if you this is not that important but if you if you're a bunny uh, one trick or user whatever lover as you can see the abilities have been changed so the QC and uh, mouse 4 the old basically have been changed also the sound effects have been also changed but yeah so that's that I'll open up the uh, hotfix here real quick and then we'll discuss the rest okay so if you want to see the rest like there is a lot of UI changes and whatnot some new settings and whatnot you can come to the main page and then um, look at the hotfix right here it's the hotfix the uh, 1.03 if you click this you can read everything uh, most of these are not like that important like an option to turn off effects I guess this can help especially with performance but it's like, like not that uh, like it's not worth to pay attention I guess and then visibility there is some uh, reduced research completion visual effects again like a lot of vi visual effects UI changes even like language and whatnot as you can see down here Spanish Russian fixed memory leak this is good optimization improvements is always good so yeah if this if you have problems with this I would just read all of these and then another thing is um, the stack limit has increased but I'm not sure how helpful this is I've never reached 1 million in anything so if you uh, found it like uh, if you 
didn't like the 1 million stack, now it's up to 100 million. And then some icons, like I showed you before, have been upgraded, updated. Also, Descendants have some of their uh, abilities and whatnot uh, modules updated, so that's good as well. But yeah, if you want to read everything here, I would just come to their website and read through all of this, and then that's that. Then I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. See you.